we haven't been able to travel internationally for like nearly a year now, right? And it has sucked. It has sucked massive balls. But I just recently found out with my Honda Dream, and this might work with your bike or your car, but actually with just a few little uh, switches, and if you do it in the right way, um, you can actually just go to any country in the world. Like, let me show you what I mean. So this is my little Honda Dream, okay? She's beautiful. And actually, the first thing you have to do is just imagine the place that you want to go to. So let's say, for example, we want to go to Japan, right? We all want to go to Japan, have sushi, and go see Mount Fuji, right? But we can't actually do that, can we? But you can. You can actually go to Japan. So all you have to do is um, channel, like, Japan in your mind, right? Are you doing that? Sushi, sumo, sushi, sumo. Good. Then, all you have to do is flick this switch, flick this switch, beep the horn. How do you beep the horn? Do you have to turn it on? Eep! Oi! And that's it. And now all you have to do is drive for 10 seconds on this bike and you'll magically appear in Japan. <laughs> right then, are you ready? Now, don't start counting. Don't start counting until I've uh, turned on the engine and we've started going, because then it, then it won't work, all right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, You see, I told you it was going to work. We're in Japan. Isn't that amazing? Just like, you know, a little bit of thinking, a little bit of magic. Make sure you press the buttons in the right way and look, you'll be in Japan. This is the future of travel, right? Amazing. Okay, let's go through the arches into the bamboo forest of Japan. What can we find? Lots of Japanese people over there. Lots of Japanese food in here, obviously, because we're in Japan. Konnichiwa. 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 <laughs> we're in Japan, right? Um, might be. <laughs> we might be. Okay. Yes, right. Um, would you care for a sister by um, Epicreation or Red Dolls? Sure. Konnichiwa. 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 Uh, sushi. My Japanese isn't very good, so I just couldn't think of a word, so I just said sushi. <laughs> I mean, konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. Now, I know what you're thinking. It's the 1st of February. It's very hot in Japan this time of year. Normally, it's snowing. But this year, for some reason, it's boiling hot. Konnichiwa. Konnichiwa. I am loving Japan. Look at this. Beautiful river. All the way down here. Now, I've ordered some Japanese food. But uh, before that arrives, let's keep walking, let's keep exploring and then we'll get on the bike and we'll go to the next country. So I, start, I want you to start thinking about what country you want to go to next. Okay, because yeah, this Honda Dream thing. Oh, so lucky. Alright, mango sticky rice sushi. It's absolutely delicious. If you've ever had mango sticky rice in Thailand, which is a country very, very far away from here, 
Uh, it tastes just like that, but it's much harder to eat with chopsticks. Can't be bothered. Mmm. I think there's a big juicy fresh piece of mango in the middle. You see the texture of it? So yummy. Oh yeah. And this, this is a cup of sugar. It's so sweet. Thumbs up for Japan. Okay, Aragato, Japan. That was a beautiful country. Uh, but I'm feeling a little bit homesick and it's very hot here in Japan. So selfishly, I think we should go to England. Maybe have a cup of tea, maybe go see the Queen of England, maybe go see my mum. So mum, I'm coming, okay? So um, yep, let's go back to the bike. Same thing as before, except this time we have to think English thoughts. So um, biscuits, Mr. Bean, biscuits, Mr. Bean. And then we flick it, then we flick it. Are you ready? Let's go. Okay, bye bye Japan. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Oh, 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 oh. Look at this. Oh, it's wet. Typical England. To. Okay, we seem to have been spat out somewhere in Surrey by the sounds of it. Look at these noisy little buggers. I wanted to like transport outside Buckingham Palace, but yeah, by the look of things, we're here at like this beautiful manor house in Surrey. And if you're thinking, hey, Surrey looks an awful lot like the mountains of northern Thailand. Uh, you, you're wrong. Um, this looks just like England. This is exactly what England looks like. Can I have a cup of tea? Like, oh, what kind of tea would you like? Uh, just English tea. Yeah, maybe that's all right. Thank okay. you. Just... Ah, lop, 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 lop. Pee, go, go, lop, pee, go, go. Lop, pee, go, go, na. Cheers. Don't forget that pinky, okay? Very, very important. And a cup of tea. English scone with jam. Scone or jam? Oh, scone. Scone or scone? Not sure. Oh my god, it smells amazing. Mmm. A little taste of home. I've texted my mum to tell her that I'm here. But I don't really know where I am, really. I'm just somewhere in England, but... Might have to shoot off before she gets here. Bless. And, uh, weirdly enough, again, it's February, but they're having a heat wave here. It's boiling. There's like a little river that goes around the whole grounds, and there's ducks and chickens and geese and grouse and... All kinds of weird birds walking around, swaddling around, making noise. Oh, but this tea... There's no milk, and it's a little bit sweet. They've obviously put a little bit of sugar in there. But it's English breakfast tea from Twinings, so fancy. The good thing about, you know, this hack that we found out, and I hope it works on your bike as well, is you don't need visas. You can just bypass the whole visa situation. Just nip across the world. Enjoy the local life. And quickly leave, you know? I can't hang around too long. Don't want to get in trouble. So where should we go next? I'm thinking... Why don't we go back to Asia? 
Why don't we go to Hong Kong? Or Taiwan? Somewhere where they have good dumplings. I know what we'll do. We'll just kind of like focus our energies on dumplings and hope that we get spat out either in Taiwan, maybe Taipei, uh, Hong Kong maybe. But I'm a creep. Can you hear this? I'm a widow. What the hell am I doing here? I don't belong here. So let's get on the Honda and go. Cheerio. Kapun ka. That's like um, an English like slang term. For see you later. Thanks for coming. Okay, all onto your butts. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Oh, be careful. Bye bye, bye bye. The thing about transporting yourself across the world on the bike is uh, one minute they're driving on this side of the road, the next minute they're driving on that side of the road. But yeah, we made it. We're in uh, Taiwan. <laughs> And uh, I would show you the skyline of the city, uh, but my camera's not working when I point it in that direction for some reason. So, um, look, I'll show you. I'll try my best, but. You see, for some reason it turns to nighttime in that direction. There's something wrong with my camera, but. Anyway, uh... <laughs> that was a bad joke. We need to find dumplings, right? Or some kind of Taiwanese street food. Because that's the reason that I, I love Taiwan. It is one of the most amazing places. So let's go get some yummy food. It's got Chinese writing because yes, of course, we're in Taiwan. Forgot how convenient Taiwan is. We've got these beautiful 7 Eleven dumplings. <laughs> and it normally comes with, if I remember rightly, last time I went to Taiwan, it comes with a sauce. Ah, yes. <laughs> like a sweet vinaigrette. And then you just sort of pour it on. <laughs> and uh, I didn't get any chopsticks, but I did get this plastic fork. But isn't this temple beautiful? This is a ta, a ta, a ta, what do you call them? Taoism, a Tao temple. It's a sect of Buddhism. It's a bit different to the one in, um, you know, a country, say, like Thailand. This is uh, special to Taiwan, special to Southern China. Mmm, prawn dumplings, fresh from 7-Eleven. So where should we go after Taiwan? <laughs> I'm thinking we should go to Europe. Let's go to like Greece, like ancient Greece. Let's get that dumpling dipped in that sweet vinaigrette first. And uh, yeah, I love Taiwan. We'll come back here another time. But um, yeah, let's head to um, let's go, Ooh, let's go check out Greece. Are you having fun? I told you, this hack on the motorbike is gonna change travel forever. <laughs> Zeus, Zeus, Zeus. Okay, now, Yeet. horn, beepy thing, clicky thing. I think it's horn third, I'm sure it'll be fine. I hope we don't get lost in a, in a weird dimension or something. <laughs> I'm sure it'll be fine. All right, let's lose. Ten, nine, eight, coming to Greece in five, four, three. Bye bye to
Guys, I really don't know what happened to the bike, but <laughs> we are not in Greece. We're in like this like weird parallel universe. I don't know what's going on. There's, there's like elements to like Greece. There's elements to France, Spain, Italy, but it's just mixed up. It's weird, it's random. I mean, admittedly, it's been a while since I've been to Europe, but I don't remember it looking like this. Like, have you ever seen? <laughs> Look, we've got a swimming pool, okay. I mean, this looks like Caesar's Palace, but it doesn't look like he lives there anymore. We've got people eating Victorian tea sets. Like, that's not Greek. This place is weird. <laughs> this place is weird. Okay, let's leave this country, whatever this weird parallel universe place is. Let's go somewhere familiar. Let's go somewhere we know. Now, a lot of you think that I'm English. I am English, but I'm also 25% Irish. So why don't we go to Ireland? And, uh... <laughs> leave this country behind. Okay, say goodbye to Greece, and let's think about Ireland. Are you ready? Okay. Potato, potato, potato. All right. Switchy, switchy. Flicky, flicky. <laughs> let's go to Ireland, baby. All right, so we've tra we've uh, transported ourselves to a pub in downtown Dublin, and they do seem to be experiencing uh, thank you a heat wave in the middle of winter, so it's the perfect time for an extra cold pint of Guinness. I'll just let that settle. Actually, it's been two years since I've had a pint of Guinness, so it's good to be back in Ireland. And uh, yeah, it's boiling hot here. <laughs> You know, you're supposed to wait until this all turns black, but I really can't wait because uh, I'm bloody thirsty. Is there anything better than a pint of Guinness? Fun fact for you. Guinness, in this form, is the only material known to man at room temperature that is equal parts or can be classified as a liquid, solid and a gas at the same time. Let me explain. Obviously it takes the vessel, it takes the shape of this vessel and you can pour it in between different vessels and it will take the form of that vessel which is a property of a liquid. If you were to look at the foam under a microscope you would see that it is entirely made of gaseous bubbles so it's a gas, molecularly, this is a gas. A good Guinness uh, that hasn't been drunk in a really hot day in uh, Dublin. Uh, normally the, 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 the creme at the top is so thick that you can mild, like, move it around and push it around and it will make and form shapes and hold its form, which is a property of a solid. So you learn something new every day on Paddy Doyle YouTube channel. Oh, Jesus Christ. Where should we go next? Because there's not really much else to do in Dublin. Uh, why don't we... You know what? Because a lot of you guys, um, statistically speaking, are from America, why don't we go to America? Because I think you guys would really like to know what America's like, right? <laughs> doesn't really work does it let me take you somewhere that you'll be like wow that really does look like America so that if you ever do get homesick when you're in Thailand and you don't have a magic bike you can go check it out USA USA let's get it right this time Let's go. Bye bye, Island. Seven, six. 
six, five, let's go quickly this time, four, three, two, America! Ho ho ho, welcome to an American diner, aka the Jukes. The only thing that I hear Americans talk about more than, oh my gosh, we have the best Mexican food in America, <laughs> is root beer floats. This is a root beer float, and uh, you can get them here in America. <laughs> if you don't know what it is, this is my first ever root beer. Root beer is kind of like, if you're English, it's a little bit like dandelion and burdock. It's like a herbal soda. It's dark, but instead of just being full of sugar, it's full of sugar and other little things. And then they serve it in a giant pint glass with massive scoops of vanilla ice cream. <laughs> Look at this. Can you see? Let me show you. It's like, like a kind of, it's a meal, really. It's like a dessert. Look at this thing. Mmm. Let's get rid of this straw. No straw needed. Oh. The bubbles. This is an interesting dessert. Mmm. 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 That is incredible. It is a heart attack in a pine glass. <laughs> and I love it. Mm. So just in case you don't have a magical Honda dream that can travel through space and time and, and into dimensions. <laughs> uh, this place is called Dukes. They have a, an extensive dessert menu with uh, actually, my housemates told me to come here and do a root beer float and apple pie. And the apple pie looks amazing, but they don't have any. Let me get to the good stuff that you're gonna really like. Really, really good looking thin crust Chicago style pizzas. Oh, now check out the burger section. This is ridiculous here. We've got blue cheese burger, Vava Voom burger, Miami burger. Cajun burger, cheeseburger, San Francisco burger, Route 66, Jack Daniels glaze burger. <laughs> oh, look at that. Look at the Jack Daniels glaze burger. Not bad, huh? And then what do we have here? Sliders. They have sliders here. Burger sliders, chicken sliders, pulled pork sliders, hot dogs. They have a whole section on hot dogs. Chicago Maxwell sweet Polish dog. They have a chili cheese dog and they have an apple bacon cheddar cheese dog. Oh my god! I would like to thank my housemates for recommending me to get a, a Coke float. No, not a Coke float, a root beer float. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it a day. We've gone all around the world and I'm pretty tired. Jet lag is real and uh, I hope you had fun. <laughs> Welcome to the weird world of Paddy's brain. If you're new and you've made it all the way to the end of this video, you should definitely subscribe because not only is my Honda Dream a time-traveling interdimensional spacecraft, uh, but um, it's also gonna be my form of transport. I'm going to be quitting my job next month. Next month, I'm gonna be leaving my job teaching in Chiang Mai, Thailand and I'm going to get my bike down the south of Thailand and I'm going to travel to every single province and bring you along with me and we're going to have the best time ever. So loads of adventures to be had. So definitely subscribe because we are just going places and we're going to be seeing every province, going to every single temple, every single uh, national park, eating in every single eatery that's worth eating in, having a bunch of random experiences and having fun and being creative while we do it. So, Thank you so much for watching this video and um, see you in the next one.